Hi Pisces, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back to do your April 2020 singles love reading and we are going to be gauging what's coming in for you as it pertains to love and will it be long term or will it be short lived. So we are naming this series Fling or Ring. Okay guys, you know we always have to come up with something different every month. If you haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and take the time to do that while I calibrate the cards to your energy. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Leave your comments and opinions down below. You guys should know that energy and time is fluid. So therefore, you may be right on time with the timeline. This could be past energy for you or this can be a future prediction. And this is the second time that I got the Wheel of Fortune for you guys. So I definitely feel like your look is changing after a sense of experience and an emotional loss and breakup. Wow, okay. So this is not just a breakup. You have, wow, okay. Okay, Pisces, I see you. So you guys were definitely in the five of cups energy or probably currently are and don't even see that something absolutely new and beautiful is coming in for you guys you didn't see that two of cups right behind you but it seems as though you guys have actually turned around and found that um connectivity between you and somebody else somebody that's willing to pour in your cup as much as you are willing to pour into theirs somebody that you have a healing and very strong connection with um, it seems as though you guys share the same heart, share the same thoughts, possibly, okay? With that two of cups there, what's coming in for Pisces as it pertains to love? So, so far, Pisces, is looking like you found a straight-up love connection, but let's see how long this thing lasts. Death in reverse here. Okay, so you could be connecting with a Scorpio, actually, but it seems as though somebody here is kind of reluctant about this transformation here. Maybe it's happening too quick. Maybe um, somebody is trying to rush the connection and claim somebody here. I did look up this husky, too, and what's the spiritual meaning be, um, behind a spirit, uh, not a spiritual, but a Siberian husky, and they represent freedom and high intelligence here. So somebody is trying to either take you off the market or you them, score, um, Pisces, and what I'm definitely seeing here is somebody is having a hard time moving out of singlehood and actually embarking on this new love that's coming in that's supposed to be very beneficial. Um, I do feel like this is a contract, but somebody eventually gives in with the strength in reverse here. So somebody is definitely trying to resist the connection, but essentially whatever person is single and has a lot of options, eventually they are just like, okay, I got to give in to this because this person, I have an affinity for this person here. You know, they do everything for me that I have always wanted a partner to do for me. And so... I can't pass up this opportunity. So this person eventually compromises. Your person eventually compromises this new love that's coming in for you, Pisces. They end up compromising and choosing you out of all of their options here. Okay, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? I do feel like maybe you have faced a misfortune as it pertains to love in the past here. That death just keeps coming out in reverse here. And I do feel like it's because neither one of you saw this coming. So this is a little bit of a shock factor. And essentially somebody could still be in self-preservation mode. You know, sometimes people are single and they want to remain single. And they want to keep their options open out of protection of their own heart, to be honest with you. Yeah, somebody got out of an unhealthy situation, I feel. If they didn't get out of an unhealthy situation, then literally this person could have been either on their deathbed here or just in extremely bad health. But this person now, they are self-aware. They know what they need to do in order to take care of themselves and move forward and you know with this emotional loss it definitely could have been some type of emotional bad health like they could have been emotionally off balance here depressed the death in reverse here yeah kind of stuck in their head 
stuck in the past for sure because we got the six of swords in reverse so even though there is a sense of this person knowing that whatever they got out of or this could be you um wasn't love anymore you know it could have started off very beautifully but somebody either ghosted them ghosted them and you know in the process of ghosting them there is a possibility that your person was left without a dime here or they were left in some type of situation where they needed somebody to depend on you know that's also why this nine of pentacles can be here in reverse so i feel like once your person gained a sense of independence it's like okay i don't know how to move out of this now i've been doing this for so long so you your person meeting you or you and this new person meeting it is definitely bringing new hope to you as it pertains to love with the star card here that's why somebody here is surrendering as it pertains to a love situation why is the strength here in reverse? Marriage in reverse. Okay. So, I do feel like it's going to take a while for this person to completely take their guards down, Pisces. You can be dealing with, like I said, a Scorpio, Leo, uh, Aquarius, Gemini. <laughs> Why is the Seven of Cups in reverse here? Somebody would be devastated if this situation doesn't turn out the way that they want. Because I feel like it took a lot for this person to allow their guards down uh, towards you, Pisces. Or this can be you towards your partner, Pisces. But it took a lot for somebody to let their guard down and actually state how they felt about somebody. So if this person doesn't receive this well, I see you being like extremely disappointed and just wanting to pull out. What is the outcome of this situation with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising? What's the outcome of this situation with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I was too much. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's definitely narrowing down options. Okay, I see that you guys are going to end up definitely staying together for the long haul. More than likely marrying, because whenever I see the Empress as it pertains to a relationship reading, that's definitely wife or somebody that can see themselves being your wife. Um, of course, this person needs to free themselves from in, any type of mental anguish or rumination of negativity that they may have faced or have to heal from at this time. But I do feel like you two will be victorious. You you guys will talk about this. And starting out, there's a sense of this person not being able to work as hard as you towards this relationship. So it's a good idea to allow this person to heal because once they heal, they can put that equal balance in. Again, you guys could be dealing with a Libra because as you guys can see, we have scales there. All right? Okay, let's get some additional advice for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Additional energies for Pisces, Sun, Moon, whoop, okay, okay, look. Again, somebody is going to try to mask their true emotions here and exercise some type of willpower as it pertains to literally resisting you, Pisces, or you trying to resist them. So somebody is literally going to hide their feelings in this situation until they're actually ready to take action. I just saw the action card. It didn't come out, though. 
More advice for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The masculine. What did I say? Somebody got to take action. And whenever I see masculine energy, it doesn't speak to the actual gender itself. It literally speaks to, you know, uh, qualities that masculine energies embody, which one of them is definitely one of the biggest ones is action. So there's a sense of allowing yourself to step back, especially if you're the feminine that's dealing with this person that needs to heal. You need to allow this person to come forth on their own. Like, there's literally no need to try to force this person to come forth because they do want it, but it won't come together unless um, they heal first. Unless they show gratitude for the lessons that they learn, complete them and understand them. Seek within what it is that they need in order to manifest the type of relationship that they may want for you. So you may have to stay kind of in the background while they deal with what it is that they have to deal with, with their inner self, higher self, inner child, and the most high, okay? All right, guys. I hope you like that reading. Sorry with so many interruptions. But um, subscribe to the tribe. Hit that bell so you guys can be notified. Give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment your thoughts and opinions down below. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Peace. Oh, I thought I stopped.